Good evening. I'm Ed Murrow, and this is Channel 13, WNDT, something rather different. But in the words of Dylan Thomas, to begin at the beginning, this is educational television. It is nine years old, quite young in the annals of education. But then television itself is but new come to being. This afternoon, there were 67 stations in the country. Tonight, this becomes the 68th. In time, there will be over 200 such stations. It will, in short, be the development of a new fourth television network serving all the peoples of the 50 states that are this land. Educational television is non-profit. Upon these airwaves, you will see no commercials. The only thing this channel will sell is the lure of learning. The only product they will push is the node of knowledge. The price you will pay now is the time you will invest to listen and to see. Though this channel will be educational, I am assured it will not be dull. It will, for part of its broadcast day, help teach the teachers to teach. But the real function of this station will be to cover the province of all mankind. You will find humor here and entertainment, and you will also find news. If they occasionally bring laughter to your lips, I trust they will on occasion bring a tear to your eye. Impressions and enlightenment as varied and as vital as is all the activity of humanity. Some of this product is already in existence. Of much of it, they can be very proud. Tonight, later in this premiere, they would show you some of their product. I occupy this host, this chair as a host, solely by invitation and perhaps because I had one blue shirt left. I have spent many of my working years in commercial television. Commercial television did not completely fill the promise of this medium. That is the reason educational television was conceived. But commercial television has been too little recognized for the good things they both did and are doing. Educational television comes into existence not because commercial television has failed, but because commercial television is confined in what it can do. This, then, is the new dimension. This is the frontier of television, along with the development of the communication satellite Telstar and the burgeoning growth of television in underdeveloped lands abroad. This is where lies the unexplored future of this medium. It is concerns such as these, communications with peoples overseas, and in the unexplored future that are my present occupation in Washington. As director of the U.S. Information Agency, I am in the business of trying to explain America abroad. We seek to make the policies of our country both intelligible, understandable, and palatable. And wherever possible, we seek to do this by using all the modern weapons of communication. We broadcast radio, we do television, we make movies, we print newspapers and magazines, we send a wireless news file around the world. We publish books, and we run libraries. We send out traveling exhibits. We administer educational exchanges of teachers and students, as well as cultural exchanges of lecturers, actors, musicians, and artists. All of this directed to over 100 nations abroad, speaking in most of the known tongues. I would like to talk at some length about the U.S. Information Agency, but I refrain from doing so lest I be accused of undertaking a commercial on behalf of the agency for which I work. Tonight you join me in being present at the birth of a great adventure. This station has been almost two years in gestation. It is capable of reaching a total audience of 15 million curious minds, stretching from the north of Connecticut to the south of New Jersey. If it does not spring full grown to life, as did the mythical Athena from the head of Zeus, it is at least born with the excitement of the creative, the promise of the new found, the challenge of the untried. If newness be its vice, then boldness be its virtue. We are here tonight to show you the sights and sounds of the newborn. This will be a sample of the programming that Channel 13, WNDT, will project to your home in the months to come. My function is merely to be your host in this two and a half hour inaugural program as educational television comes at last to the metropolitan area. WNDT will have lectures, of course, but they will not all be the type lecture you might expect, nor will the lecturer conform to expectation. A case in point, television producer Paul Killiam, before the station went on the air, it asked Mr. Killiam 
to chat with the staff and friends concerning his view of what educational television would mean to the people of New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. Humor, I am told, has a place in education, and it certainly has a place on WNDT. This might be called Mr. Killiam's uh, prediction of impact for Channel 13, and this is the result.